Beloved in Christ, if I say to you that Gentiles were never under the law, what would you say to that? Because many Gentiles today believe that they are uh, proponents of the law, that they were uh, part of the law. The law belonged to the Jews, the Jewish community. God gave the laws to the Jews, not to the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? The Gentiles are everyone who is not a Jew. Simple as that, beloved. The Word of God tells us in Romans, the second chapter in the 14th verse, it says, For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, get this, beloved, which have not the law, never had the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, by nature, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. They have made a law unto themselves. So the writer in Romans is quite specific about Gentiles. But many have falsely fallen in love with the law rather than the original lawgiver, which is God. You know, and many times people struggle in their lives and struggle with certain sins in their lives and they don't understand why because they have made to themselves a law that does not exist for them. Beloved, it's like for instance if you love pizza and then all of a sudden you say to uh, yourself, I'm no longer going to eat pizza because uh, it's not good for me. And so you make a law unto yourself that pizza is not good for you. But beloved, it's not that it's not good for you, the fact that you made it a law unto yourself. And that's what the scripture tries to define for us, that the Gentiles were never under the law. But yet they have created a sense of being controlled by the law when you and I, who are Gentiles, ought to be controlled by the Holy Spirit of God. And I don't see why that is such a difficult thing for someone to understand. If I'm following the Spirit of God, then I am following the law of God by simply following the Spirit. Beloved, David, Moses, Elijah, they followed the law of God. But today, we as Gentiles and Jews now who are born again, they follow the Spirit of God. Jesus followed the Spirit of God. Amen? That's why it seemed to the Jewish community, which he was amongst, how many times they said to him, you're breaking the law. You're, uh, uh, you're nullifying God's law. How are these men going to eat corn on a Sunday? They're working. You're breaking the law. And then Jesus said to them, did not David eat of the shoe bread? on that particular day? Beloved, we have to understand this. Now, look what the Word of God also says in the 15th verse, which show the work of the law written in their heart. They have allowed the law to be written in their hearts, in their conscience, also bearing witness unto them. And their thoughts, the means, the 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 mean while meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. What does that mean, beloved? This is what it means. It means that when people make law or take law, 
and begin to follow it and say, well, the law is my God, the law is my keeper. Well, they only keep certain laws. And the laws that they keep, they want everyone in their sect to keep that law. And that law makes them right before God in their own eyes. And anybody who does not follow the law that they commit to, then they don't know God. That's why, beloved, today there are so many denominations. That's why there are so many different uh, thoughts out there when it comes down to Christianity. Because what has happened is people are following portions of the law and not following the full law. Beloved, what is being done today excusing those who follow the laws they consider their own groups, their own cliques will please God and get them in good with God. For instance, there are groups that follow the Ten Commandments and that's all they literally follow. And if you don't follow those Ten Commandments, then you are not uh, being pleasing to God, or nor can you be a part of them. There, who, there are those who follow where you don't eat pork. And if you eat pork, then you are defiling your body, and the kingdom of heaven cannot be yours. They have made laws unto themselves. And as the word says, they made laws unto themselves. And not only they made laws to themselves while accusing others and excusing one another. They're excusing themselves, but then accusing the other. Beloved, that's why we see so many denominations today. Because of that. And beloved, is simply because of a lack of understanding. The Gentiles have never, ever been under the law. The only thing that was given to them was to love your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And even Jesus said that that alone will suffice. And so, beloved... Until we get that understanding, we will find ourselves struggling with the law because we done made the law unto ourselves. And beloved, why? I don't know. But I believe people desire to be different from others. And so they'll do anything. And as I said before in an, in an earlier lesson, if you cannot fulfill the 699 laws that is within God's word, then, beloved, you cannot fulfill what the Lord calls for, and that is faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and not in your own ability to keep the laws that even the Jews was not able to keep. Beloved, may the Lord bless you this day in Jesus' name.